Hello my lovelies and welcome to Vlogmas day 22. I know I've missed 21 out, but unfortunately I wasn't vlogging yesterday. But it's Friday the 22nd of December today and I have been to Aldi to get my Christmas shop. So everything that I need over the Christmas period. Rocky has got his nose in the back. So let me just show you what I got him. He's already had a few of these. So this is his toy. So it's a three pack of character balls and it was an elf so he had three of them one's the head one's the torso and one's the legs and feet so let me just give this back to him so yeah they were only 199 i think they were supposed to be 399 but they're on offer so i have got quite a big shop today so i've got drinks i've got four bags full of stuff so obviously people will be coming round over the Christmas period. You've always got to have a drink for them. Marcus is going to be coming round on Christmas morning. I'm not sure if he's having dinner, but I've got plenty in just in case he changes his mind. But you know, it will get anyway because I've got turkey crown and then we'll have it for like sandwiches or make a turkey curry or something. So let's get into my very festive Christmas Aldi haul. So, I'm going to start off with drinks. Um, I don't think they're all here. There is some drinks in the bags as well. So, I've got some of the Arancia Orange cans of pop. got six of those. These are £2.49 each. If I remember any of the prices, I will tell you. I've um, got the Lemonata ones as well. Matthew's nicked a can out of here. That's why I was holding it shut. We've got two of the six packs of sparkling water because I absolutely love sparkling water. We've got two bottles of the Prosecco Extra Dry. So this is just the the Aldi's. Um, I think it is the Aldi's own branded one. I'm sure it is. I'm sure they only sell this in Aldi. I think they do anyway. But we had this on our wedding day as well because we absolutely love this one. We got crates and crates of stuff. So got some of those these are one off of 4.99 i think it is at the moment so two bottles of those for books fizz on christmas morning then got a loaf of bread because it's on the side so let me move these drinks and we'll get on to bag one the cool bag but there is some cool bits in the other bags as well because i just couldn't fit it all in here so i've bought some pub pastry this was really good for making that um dessert the other day so if we're fancying something sweet we've got some cinnamon mix it with some brown sugar and you can make cinnamon swirls or i can make a pie I could make a turkey pie so it's always great to have the puff pastry in i've got some nor pack this is two pound nine they did have lure pack in but that's 3.99 the same size and it tastes the same so stuck with the nor pack so for over the Christmas period, we like to have picky bits in. So I've got six mini Melton Mowbray pork pies. I've got some French brie, nice with crackers. Matthew likes blue cheese, so I've got him a handmade mature blue Stilton. So I've got him that. I think this was, was this two? I think this was two... 65 because they had another Stilton next to it which is a little bit smaller than this and that was 325 so I've got that anyway because it's the specially selected one I've got some hummus it's always nice to have hummus in always got to go for my piccolo tomatoes I just absolutely love these on crackers with a bit of cheese on as well delish I got I've got my yogurts, but they've all fallen all over the place. So I don't know where they've got. Here they are. So I've got these pack of four yogurts, which I do buy most weeks if they've got them in. They're the thick and creamy strawberry luxury layered live yogurt made in West Cork using Irish milk and cream. Now my step nan is in hospital at the moment. She's been going on about these yogurts for ages. And for the last couple of weeks, she's been going to Lidl to shop. And they don't do these in Lidl. Um, and I thought of her at shopping today. And I would have given her the whole pack. But she hasn't got a fridge in the hospital. And it does get very warm in there. So I've just given her one to try. Give it to my stepdad. He's going to go up in a bit. 
I did say I'd go with him, but he, he just wants to drop mum home with the shopping and then get up there to see her. So, yeah, I've sent one of these up for her, so I thought that'd be a nice little treat for her. Um, I know it's it's only something little, but I just remembered that she really wanted to try them. So, put some of them. For the pudding on Christmas Day, I've gone for the Cherry Bakewell Sponge Pudding. We absolutely love this, and they've hardly ever got this one in, so I grabbed it while it was there today. Uh, another cheese I've got, I've got the Mini Rule, which is the um, garlic and herb one. We do like the um, Borsan, which is just like this, but they didn't have any, so... We just got a mini one of those, which is cute, and that's plenty for us. So, Christmas dinner-wise, I've got 12 pork, sage and onion stuffing balls. Obviously, me and Matthew wouldn't eat 12 of these, so I will probably freeze half the pack. Also, got some pigs in blankets. There's 12 in here. I'll probably make all of these, and then Rocky could probably have some of these as well, so got those you won't be having the stuff in there because it's got onion it's got garlic in it but i know it's got onion in it so you can't have onion so we're having that and then for the main part of the christmas dinner because it's only me and matthew obviously if marcus comes that's great um but this serves six and this is the specially selected slow cooked bacon top turkey breast joint uh, succulent pork, sage and onion stuffing turkey, joint with a pot of our specially selected turkey gravy. So it actually comes with a pot of gravy inside there as well. Cooks in 60 minutes, slow cooked for ultimate succulents. Um, so yeah, it looks very nice and I thought this will be perfect for us on Christmas Day. I know it's got stuffing with it but I do love the sage and onion sorry the pork sage and onion stuffing so i'll probably have a few of these as well but like i said we can make sandwiches with it we can make a curry with it we could make a pie with it so yeah it will get used up so i'm looking forward to that i love a christmas dinner okay, starter i have picked up some cold water prawns i'm gonna make a prawn cocktail i've got some of those um I forgot to get the um, iceberg lettuce off my mum. She bought a pack of two and she was like, I'm not going to eat both of them. So I need to go and grab that off there for my corn cocktail. Um, all of their like, Christmassy veg is on offer for 15p. So picked up some parsnip, some sprouts. Look at this big pack of sprouts, 15p. I got some other stuffs in the other bag. So for sandwiches as well, I've got this blossom honey roast thick cut Wiltshire ham. That was on offer for £2.19. It's normally £2.39. This is delicious. Um, and then I also got some Italian salami and cheese selection. So this will be nice as well. Just picky bits for over Christmas. Uh, for a meal or a sandwich or something, I've got some Lincolnshire sausages, we love those. Also got some dry cured smoked streaky bacon, so for sandwiches I also add this into like pasta dishes as well. For Rocky's dinners I've got him the British beef mint 20% fat. And i got him some of the British chicken drum fillets as well. Um, I think these were off of stick 269 I think these were so I thought that was great because you get two four six eight I think there's like ten fillets in there got some mozzarella to go in a pasta dish if we have that um, for one of the days probably over this weekend or something some onions I'm running low on onions and this was the last one in the freezer it's a bit battered but it's fine it's still sealed and these are two chicken bakes so like the the greg style ones so just bung these in the air fryer and there's a little snack or lunch or something so i'm going to bung this away in the fridge and freezer and then we'll get on to bag two right next bag so in this one we've got six large free-range eggs Picky bit, got 
got uh, 22 mini sausage rolls. Got some quinoa pumpkin and some flower seeds, microwave or rice for Rocky's dinners. This is part of the 15 p range as well. Big bag of carrots. I mean, look, these are like really, really nice looking carrots as well. I mean, sometimes they look a bit like, they get a bit white, don't they? But so fresh. I've got some Brenda cream, double cream, if you don't know. Get to know. Um, also for Rocky, I've got the Worldwide Food Good Grains Red and White Quinoa. So I'll have this with the chicken or with his beef. Um, me and my mum seen this in the special buys. This is a Madras cooking sauce, a fiery combination of tomato, coconut, chilli and fragrant coriander. So I just thought as a quick dish, I might even make the, the turkey curry with this. just thought it looked so nice. And it's hot as well, spicy. It says it serves four, so yummos. Um, I'm nearly out, actually, I am out of washing liquid. So I've got the Almat non Almat non bio gel. Um, it smells very fresh. Um, also got some of the Fabulosa red wine fragranced white vinegar spray. This is from like my side, the cook of the sink, and it actually smells so nice. Even though it's a vinegar spray, it actually smells like cherries to me. Um, it says red wine fragrance, but it's very, 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 very highly fragrant. So I've got some of that. That was 89p. I got some caram caramelized, caramelized onion chutney by Baxter's this is part of their special buys as well this is delicious with cheese on crackers um I think this was was this on offer for one is it 149 I think this is 149 on offer I've got some of the specially selected six all butter minced pies so my mum said that these are really nice. Um, they haven't had these in for a couple of weeks and they had them in today. So I thought we'd try these, especially with... What are you doing, Rocky? Especially with having, you know, people over Christmas morning or over the Christmas period. Nice to offer them a nice mince pie. Matthew said to pick up some Ferrero Rocher for just me and him on Christmas evening when we're sat down watching films. So... I got a box of Ferrero Rocher. These one offer for four ninety nine. As always, I've got some of my Harvest Morn soft baked chocolate chips. These are absolutely delicious. Like the the little ones, no, these ones, delish. Uh, we completely up to my ketchup, so I just picked up some of the Aldi's own my ketchup. I think this was eighty five p. Some short bright bouquet antiperspirant. This is $1.99. Some Costa Rican instant coffee. I think this was two two pound nine. I'm sure it was on offer for two pound nine. It might be two forty nine, but yeah, it's nice anyway. I think that's the one we bought last week. I got some Dijon mustard because we're completely out of this. And this is great with ham sandwiches, um, with all like the little picky salamis and stuff to go on crackers and nice bread. And it also goes in my chicken and mushroom pie. So it will also go in a turkey pie. Yum. Treats for Rocky. I've got him some meaty strips with beef and some meaty rolls with chicken, beef and lamb. I think these are... Pretty sure these were like 79p. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Got some plum tomatoes, two tins of those because they go in a lot of my meals. Got some more drinks in here. So I've got three of the orange juice smooth from Concentrate because this will go in the box fizz or with the Prosecco to make box fizz on Christmas morning. Got three of those. And then I also picked up two bottles of the um, Australian Chardonnay. This is the one that we really like. So I've got two bottles of that. 
and that is that bag so i'll be back in a moment with bag number three right on to the third bag uh matthew's been cooking into these terrible some of the fish and chips salt and vinegar he's taken one of the packs out of it there was meant to be six there's now five um I needed some razors. I used a blunt one on my legs every day and it bloody killed. It was so itchy when I got into bed and I'd, I'd get really hot and bothered in my pyjama bottom. So I either take them off, just sleep in my top of my pants or I wear like the shorts pyjamas and my legs were just so itchy. I just had to put some pyjama bottoms on because they were just irritating me. Anyway, long story short, I've got some razors. And I do like these ones by Lacura, the uh, disposable razors. The road pivoting head, three blade ones. Um, I've got some crumpets. These are 30% off. I'm just going to bung these in the freezer because they go off today. And I thought, well, all of them were the 22nd. And only this pack had 30% off on it. So I'll grab that lovely to have some nice freshly baked rolls over christmas so i've got this four bake at home white rolls they're just like the mini ones so be nice for a little lunch i've got some perfect for sharing cheesy puffs two packets of our milk chocolate malted milk we inhale these i don't know if anyone else has tried these when you dip them in a cup of tea or coffee they go so quick it, it, it's hard it's hard to start trust me if you haven't tried them give them a try give them a try um i've got some cars melt original so some nice crackers for um cheeses and things now i do go normally go for the aldi ones the wheat ones but they had they didn't have any and i remember a couple of christmases ago we did have these and they're absolutely delicious so picked up those and then I also picked up the savoury crackers, lightly salted. We do normally buy a big tub of crackers at Christmas. I think last year we got the massive Jacobs ones from Costco. But what we find is there's loads in there that we don't like. Like the digestive type ones. They're, we just don't like them with cheese and they just go to waste. So I thought if we get some that we do like, you know, much better. I've got a four pinter of semi skim milk. I'm just going to pop this in the fridge because I forgot it was in there. I've got some mint corn bogs because I tried to get the aniseed sweets that we got last week because they were delicious. Um, they seem to be popular, so went back to the books. I've got some sea salt and chardonnay vinegar hand cooked crisps because these are my favourite. I haven't bought a big bag for ages, so it's Christmas. And I hope he's not watching because yeah, I don't think he'd be watching this. I don't. I think he finds it weird watching me on my vlogs because sometimes, like, I think he's been around my sister-in-laws and she's had me on the telly. So uh, what's going on with my hair? It's gone crazy. Um, but yeah, she's had me on the telly and it's just like, it's weird seeing my mum on the telly. So yeah, I'm talking about Marcus, by the way, my son. He's 21, if you didn't know. He doesn't live with us anymore, he lives with his girlfriend and they've also got a lodger there as well, which is also his, his best friend. So yeah, um, because we've had a few problems with our finances, uh, the last couple of months with having fraud on our bank account. What? What is on my nose? Is that where my makeup's come off? I don't know what's on my nose. Oh, I don't know. Mark on my nose. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, so we had fraud on our account. They completely took everything out of our account. We've spoken to the bank bank since. We thought it's twenty thousand. It's actually thirty one thousand. So yeah. We're terrible when it comes to checking our bank, but we will be better now, trust me. Anyway, I've gone off on a rant now. I've got Marcus some of these uh, tackies, I think they're called. Um, these are new. These are the Volcano ones. Um, now, I like. I know he likes all these sort of like hot and spicy, gimmicky type crisps. I think these, are these American? I'm sure they are American. Not sure. Oh, it says Madrid, Spain. 
on the back here. But yeah, so it says um, these are very hot, very, very hot. So Volcano Takis. These were £3.49 for a 180 gram bag. These are 150 gram bag and these were like £1.40. 349 so yeah they better be good but it's just part of his little bits now, i have got him a few things they are coming um in the post so they're actually being delivered by every and i have received an email today to say that they've received them and they'll let me know when they're on the way so either today or tomorrow we, sh we should get them before christmas we've got three days before christmas so I think I'm going to get them and I think he's going to like the couple of bits I got him. I didn't spend a huge amount but I got him and Kelsey something and I just had to get them. So yeah, he'll probably be mad with me because I bought him something but you know. He's my son, I've got to buy him things. Um, but yeah, that's my third bag to wear while I'm talking so much in this one. So I'm going to move on to the fourth and final bag. Right, final bag. So this one we've got softest aloe vera toilet roll always buy that um we've got some fruit we've got some fruit some goodness so i've got some plums they're nice and hard me and matthew love them when they're nice hard plums uh these are just wonky plums they don't look wonky to me at all um i think these were just 99p um i also got some Rich and smooth English breakfast tea, 50 tea bags. I've gone through so much tea this week. So I bought tea bags last week, but we're running low. So I'd get some stocked up just in case we have visitors. Um, I've got these from Marcus's tack because he's got a kitten. Um, she's, she's, he, he, he's called Henny. Um, he'll be getting quite big now. So I've got in the marvellous mixed cat treats. I've uh, got them. Um, now I've been wanting this twice for ages and every time I go to Aldi they haven't got any and they have two packs left on the shelf so these are the dairy fine milk chocolate peanut butter Christmas trees and they're meant to be just like Reese's now I have heard because Aldi chocolate is absolutely delicious some people prefer these ones so yeah I think me and Matthew are gonna try these today a cup of tea is needed trust me I've got some easy peeler oranges. We do like to have a bit of fruit as well. Um, I think I have some nuts at Christmas. So I've got these hot honey cashews. I still didn't get to try these last week. Matthew had the whole pack again. So I'm going to make sure I'll get to try them this time. Because they sound delicious. Another thing that only costs 15 p a whole bag of potatoes. So it just says on here, ideal for everyday use, and it does say on the back um, for mashed potato. So I'm going to use them for roasts and mash on Christmas Day. 15p for all of those potatoes. Absolutely amazing. For tonight's dinner, we are having the Carlos Takeaway loaded pizza with cheese. So it's like the, the stuffed crust one. Um, yeah looks yum so i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna do some potato wedges make me a potato wedges on the side so your mouth and then the last thing in this bag is a bottle of shiraz for marcus he really likes red wine so this is the kambala kamba kambala kambala i think it's kambala um western cape south african shiraz limited edition 2023 i thought it looked very nice so i've got some nice um bottle bags so i can pop that in one of the bottle bags that i got from home bargains so yeah that is my christmas shop now where did i just put that receipt so this is how long the receipt is i will hold it up so you can see the prices you want to pause and zoom in. I don't know if it's actually focusing or not. Oh, focus is gone. It's not focusing properly, is it? But this was an expensive one. But you know what? All the all the booze, 
all the treats, the actual um, turkey crown thing that I got was 19.99, so that was quite expensive, but I've got a lot here. It comes to 153 pounds and 63 pence. So that is expensive. But this is literally, this is gonna last us all over Christmas. People come round and everything. I do wanna get some beers in as well. I was gonna grab those from Aldi today, but my trolley was rammed, so I'm either gonna send my fuel to the Aldi that's just up the road from us, which is not the one we normally go to, but we used to go there. But yeah, it's it's a much smaller one than the one we go to now. But yeah, I might send him up there to get some beers in, just in case anyone pops in and wants a beer. But my trolley was full. There was no way I was getting beers in here as well. So, that is it for my Christmas shop. How do you think I did? Do you think I've gone a bit overboard? I don't mind if you want to say, you bought too much, Sean. What are you doing? I really don't mind. But yeah, it's Christmas. I think everyone goes a bit overboard at Christmas, don't they? I haven't actually spent that much in a while. I know I keep going over £100, I always bloody do, but for Christmas, 153 with presents and whatever, I'm trying to, I'm trying to justify it. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't try and justify it. But um, today we visited Isabel. Um, I don't know whether you've seen my Timu haul that I got about a month, just over a month ago. Um, and it was showing you like Christmas bits, like stocking fillers that you could get. And I actually picked up Izzy that little, it was like a little pin, little brooch thing that says, have you got any grapes on it? And it's that little duck that goes up to that lemonade store. It's a very old meme that Marcus and Isabel used to love when they were little. And basically the duck goes up to the lemonade store and he goes, hey, you got any grapes? Obviously he's not going to have grapes. It's a lemonade store. But anyway. It's one of those, if you know, you know jokes. But yeah, I've, I've put that. So she's got like some little bits hanging off her lantern to either side of her headstone. So one of them's got like some little string on it. So I just sort of put the pin through the string and then it's got like a little clasp on the back of it. So yeah, I just stuck that on there. Just, just something little, just to show that I still think about it all the time and I still want to get a Christmas stuff. Um, I bought some beautiful white roses. My mum bought a red roses and we're going to go up on Christmas morning or afternoon and um, mix them together. So yeah, she has still got some, I think they're carnations up there at the moment, like a mixture of Christmas flowers with some pine cones. Um, we bought them last week, but they look immaculate. So there was no point in putting flowers in there today. And I think only a couple we're going to have to get rid of because they're probably waterlogged. But a lot of them weren't. And we will just pop the mix the, the red and white roses in with them. Um, yeah, so I didn't take a picture today because it looks exactly the same as last week. I'll pop a picture in of last week's one. If you haven't seen that, I'll pop it in at the end. Um, but a tree had fallen over again, a couple of like the um, tree decorations had come off but everything else was alright. Actually a couple of the nutcrackers um, that are on her headstone, they'd come off and their hats had come off. So I put them back on, um, sort of tucked them in the bow and her little lights that are on her headstone. Um, so they shouldn't fall down again now but it is so windy. I don't know if we've got another storm coming over or what but it is really windy so yeah that is the end of my vlog I feel like I've been talking a lot it's been a long one it's been a big one um I don't know whether I'm going to get another vlog in before Christmas um if Marcus's stuff arrives before Christmas which I think it will I think I will do one either tomorrow or Christmas Eve. I might do a live on Christmas Eve, actually. Um, I'll let you know tomorrow if I'm going to do a live on Christmas Eve. Um, just having a little drink and a chat. So, you know, if anyone's available and they want to join the live, you know, you're very welcome. I love chatting to you guys. We always have so much fun. We have a right laugh. 
and you always make me feel so much better because I did a live last week as part of my vlogmas I was just having a really crap day I was going to do a vlog and I just thought I'm just going to jump on and, and do a live with you guys and just have a chat so I jumped on and I was talking about obviously the fraud thing and everything and I was just getting really down about it I just felt so much better once I'd come off the live and yeah I wasn't I wasn't miserable for the rest of the night. I just had a much better night. So thank you to everyone that joined that live last week. And I am sorry to those who um, couldn't make it, but I'd left it last minute. I literally just went on the live. I didn't actually give you any notice. So I'll try and give you a day's notice at least um, for live on Christmas Eve. If I don't, I'm really sorry. I'm so forgetful. I might just go on on Christmas Eve. And if you join, you join. If not, it's absolutely fine. You can You can watch it back. And then you can comment on them. And I'll always comment back. But yeah, thank you to everyone that's commented this year. This year has been very up and down for me. But you guys have kept me going. So if you can, if you can give this one a like. If you can subscribe if you're not already. And hit the notification bell just to let you know every time I upload a video. I would really, really appreciate it. So I'm going to go now, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.